Hello, my name is Troy Allen Gallat. Welcome to Trigger Time TV. Okay guys, Tatiana Whitlock is gonna to talk to us about what you do when things go wrong and you're not alone. Hi folks, I'm Tatiana Whitlock with Trigger Time TV. In this episode, we're gonna go through a very basic range drill that's really applicable in the real world. What happens when you're moving in and around and with other people? They may or may not have a plan to move with you. So in this exercise, we're gonna go through a couple of options based on who you might be with and what to expect when you're out in the world, bad things happen, guns have to come out. I'm joined today by Charles Sumner of Glock. We're both shooting Glock guns out of G-Code holsters. So the first exercise we're gonna do is we're out with a buddy, they're also a concealed carrier, you've done some training together and you have a plan that's kind of critical. Something happens, you wanna know what your partner or your buddy is gonna do. So in this instance, we're gonna move away together, making ourselves a harder target to focus on. We also don't wanna die and take incoming shots and die in a heap. So Charles, we're both loaded hot, in position, and shoot. We go to our guns, we draw, we move, we engage, track them down, investigate your world, Check out what's going on behind you. Check out your partner. World is safe. Slow, deliberate, reholster. So now what happens if you're out with somebody and they don't have a clue? Hopefully if you're out with a spouse or significant other, you have a plan. If they're not carrying, you really wanna make sure they know what you're gonna do and you know what they're going to do in the event you have a problem. Similar situation, whether they're carrying or not, they can move away from you. But let's say you're in a hallway, uh, you're in the elevator, you can't, you don't have an option. This person's probably not going to move and expect me to, ready? I'm going to make sure they're out of the way, draw, engage, situational awareness, check them out, make sure they're good before I reholster. The third option, and this is where it gets a little fun, let's face it, what if you're out grocery store, Walmart, nothing's going right, you're with people you don't know. What happens if you have to control that person to keep them safe, get them out of the way, so that you can, one, engage safely, make sure they're not between you and your line of fire, you're gonna have to get a little physical and a little bit rough. Rather than rough, let's just say controlled. So, work with someone who's expecting this, train safely, just as you would in any martial arts or combative situation. We agree, I'm not gonna hurt Charles, <laughs> but we have bad guy over here, we have a problem. I may be like, move! <laughs> Same thing, make sure they're good before you slowly and deliberately reholster. If you have somebody that's close to you, you may need to physically trap their arm, engage one-handed, return, you'll do the full scan and assess, and then you come back to shooting. So Charles, let's run through them really quickly. We're gonna move side to side and shoot. Three holster. Second one, you're in a confined space with an unarmed person with you. Move away. Reholster. And then of course, there's the option where we can control them. Again, either trapping their arm, locking them in so they don't get away from you, or pushing them out of the way. You have a variety of options. All are things you can do within a safe training environment. Folks, train safe in the context of your life for the fight of your life. Trigger Time TV is brought to you by Genetic Development Group. Lock Perfection. Bravo Company Manufacturing, Bravo Company USA, Innovative Gunfighter Solutions, G-Code Holster, SIG Electro Optics, Zero Tolerance Knives, Primary Weapon Systems, Silencer Co., Lucid Optics, 
velocity system, ultimate training munitions, and ammunition provided by Precision Delta.